today's lesson i'm going to show you how to create this photo manipulation effect stay tuned so to begin we're going to make a duplicate of our background layer i'm going to drag it to our background icon to make a copy for us i'm going to turn off the original and then with our copy i am going to name this so what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in my other image. So I'm just going to go to this and I'm going to use my move tool. I'm going to drag it into my file. And in order to see it, I'm going to decrease the opacity. And I'm going to scale it down by clicking on my edit transform scale. And I'm just going to Scale it down. I'm going to move it in the middle. I'm going to scale it a little bit more so it's within the defined canopy walkway. Scale it just a little bit more. And I am going to increase opacity just so we can see how it looks. I think it looks okay. You can still see the canopy in the background. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom in and I am going to cut off the area that I don't want. So I'm just going to cut around the trim. So now that we have our selection, I'm going to right click and I'm going to make a copy of our selection. I'm going to turn off the original layer. And now I'm going to increase the opacity of our image that we just cut up. I'm going to zoom out. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to erase this portion, which is further back. I'm going to pick my eraser tool. I'm going to increase my brush head. And I'm just going to gently brush it down so we can erase the city in the background. Okay, so with this set for us, we can see that we have a few issues around the corners of the pool. We need to finish it off. And then the back, we need to get rid of the two people in the background and extend our pool. So the first thing we're going to take care of is the front part of the pool. I'm going to use the clone stamp tool to finish off I'm going to use a clone stamp tool. So I'm just going to select that and I'm going to zoom in closer to the front and I'm going to make a, a selection. I'm going to reduce the brush head just a little. I'm going to press my Alt down and I'm going to make a selection and I'm just going to dab it. I'm going to press it down and I'm just going to re keep repeating that. So we have this and complete it. I'm going to do the same thing for this side as well. Or you can choose to copy, clip, make a copy, and then you paste it. But it's much smoother when you go with the clone stamp tool. So with this, we are going to reduce our pool again. And I'm going to just trim off. And we're just going to clean off this area, make a selection around with our marquee tool. And I can use the eraser or I'm just going to press delete and it's going to take care of that. I'm going to press control D to deselect. I'm going to repeat the same process. I'm going to zoom. And I'm going to increase opacity so we can see. So we do have the front taken care of. We need to take care of the back area. So to do that, I'm going to first of all get rid of my subject and to do that i am going to simply bring in another image which is going to be an um the extension of our pool i'm just going to drag this into our file and you want to make sure that whatever selection you're making is similar to what you already have so you get a good blend and what i'm going to do now i'm going to decrease the opacity so we can actually see it. I'm going to move it up a little. And I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to do another 
clipping. So I'm just going to use my marquee tool. You can even use the pencil, whatever you are comfortable with. You can choose to go with that. But I'm just using the marquee and I'm just going to cut around the fence. I'm just going to close this off. I'm going to right click and create a copy. I'm going to turn off the original layer and I'm going to increase opacity of the one that we just clipped. I am going to use my eraser and I'm just going to erase a portion of that. And I'm going to also erase a portion from the front so it blends in with what we already have set. I'm going to erase a little bit around um, so it sort of really gives it that flow and the blend. So now that we, we have this set for us, the only piece that we need to take care of is around um, the very end and the fence. So to do the fence, all you need to do is go back to the original layer and I'm going to cut I'm going to create, I'm going to make a copy of this area and I'm just going to place it on top of the other side. I'm going to right click, make a copy. I'm going to use my move tool and I'm going to select that and place that where I need it to be. Now I'm going to use my transform and I'm going to choose the start and I'm just going to manipulate this copy I'm just going to erase a portion of that so it blends in with the other piece so with this set for us the only piece that we need to take care of is that little poking of the head. So to do that, I'm still going to go back to my original layer and I'm going to make another copy. I'm going to make another copy of our background layer so I can place that on top. Right click and make a copy. Always make a copy so you don't lose the original. I'm just going to place it on top. going to double click and I don't even need to fade out any portion of the one that I clip because it looks so good matched together. So now when we zoom out, all we see is the people in the background. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just clip that area off and I'm actually going to zoom in so we get a more close up of our subject. To complete it, what I typically like to do is to create a copy of the final image and then using my camera raw if filter, I play around with the opacity, the contrast, the shadows, so I can get a final image. So I'm going to select all the files and I'm going to press my group icon to group everything for me and I'm going to press shift control alt e to get a final image created for me so when I click off the group I still have one file which has combined all the different layers and so with that what I want to do is go to filter choose camera roll filter and I'm going to just play around with the different um, camera settings so we can complete our tutorial. So I'm just going to move the sliders just so I get the desired effect that I want. I'm going to click OK. I really like how it looks. So you can quickly see this is the before and this is the after. So once you finish off your design, just with this simple tool, you can actually bring more depth, richness and light 
to your image. I hope this is something that you would make as a habit to do in every final product that you create. I hope you found this tutorial very helpful. I know it's simple, but I wanted to show you how you can use your creative mind to do something unique and different. Please like, subscribe. Also turn on the notification bell for all future uploads. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.